Okay, uh, welcome to Six Scales, June 30th, 2022. I'll link to the notes in the chat. Okay. <clears throat> um, please add yourself as an attendee, please. Okay, let's go over the performance periodic tests. Um, all right, so uh, Marcelo, I, you had you had the fix for the unexpected number of VMIs. This is strange. I don't know why we um, why this only showed now. Uh, I found this surprising that we did. Maybe it was because the um, the number of uh, maybe because the the test changed um, and and now it's catching it or something. Maybe that could be why. I, I don't know. It's, it seems a little weird because I thought. Do you, do you remember if like we, I thought we delete the first VMI. I actually, I, do you remember? I don't remember now, yeah. Okay. Or Yeah, I thought, I, for some reason I thought we did, but maybe not. Yeah, if if we are deleting, maybe it's taking time to delete now and then it's showing, you know, <clears throat> during the test. Maybe should wait, maybe to delete, I don't know. Yeah, I wonder, cause like, um, yeah, I, as I mentioned, I did a quick fix, so, and oh, I'm trying to find the, the notes, okay, to put my name. So, um, did a quick fix, because we are creating, you know, in the in the end, 101, so it should be fine. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to see... Uh... We don't, we don't it create, it like, should. No, it, it should. Oh, I think it's in the test, isn't it? It's it's in the it's in the uh, the the, the, the load generator. Yeah, the load generator. Yeah. Okay, it's, so somewhere in here we, we want to do it. I, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Oh no, not not the load generator. Uh, it, it's it, this is this test. It's the functional test. Oh, okay. So it's um. Oh, okay. So we do we go out to test. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Performance. Oh, there is a scale there. What does? Yeah, it should should be density. Yeah. Um, and uh, here, uh, right here we go, and then we do a right, we do like a, a primer, before. yeah, okay, yeah. But so do we wait, do wait, that? running, no, wait it's not running. deleting, you see, because this yeah. test doesn't delete, yep, yep, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then, where's that, like, so where's the weight, um, where's the weight 100 happening? Um, only oh, which it's in your PR, where, yeah. where did you change this? You, you put the mouse here, exactly, yeah. Ah, okay. So VMI capital. Okay. So test performance density. Oh, okay. I was right there. I was, it was uh, right there. There should change right there. Ah, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, okay. Maybe I should put like uh, some comments here, but I did it very fast, very fast. So. Well, no, 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 that's fine. I, I think like this is, this is actually, I think this is really good. It's actually, so I think before, we were maybe not waiting for the multi rate. I think this might just confirm that what we have, we might've had a bug previously and that we've with like waiting and now it's, and now it's fixed because we're, if we're cons if we were consistently seeing this, then we are consistently checking that we have the right number of VMs. So I, I think that that's right. I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, then that's good. All right. So good. That's fixed. Um, um is too failing? failure well we had some success looks since um what was this i don't know when this merged but we had so we had a bunch in here so that's good i bet this is the oh uh. no, this is something else this is this failed immediately um this probably has something to do with uh an endpoint being down i'm guessing like oh. it's i'm not sure broke. why this failed it's like basil, something else. But I don't even see the error. It, yeah. It stops suddenly. So maybe it was killed. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. I, I this doesn't look like it has anything to do with us. And then this one.
error running second. Still did not complete successfully. So I this doesn't look like us. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Well then I think let's just see. I mean this should this should eventually go to green. Okay. And then let's go to um the periodics. Where is the uh, this one? This is your dedicated cluster, right? Okay, oh. so we have also failure. Yeah. Let's take a look. So... Yeah, this is it will be very big. Huh? Okay. Okay, so we get to our replicas waiting. It might be the 600. Waiting. The case with 600. Because that's sometimes. Oh, I want to see if there's some. Oh, here we go. Here's our answer. So this is just, this is the uh, the one from the bug from oh, last time. This right. is the, uh, this one. This one. Need to delete, yeah. Yep. So I, I didn't get the chance to create an issue for this. I'll, I'll create an issue just so we can track it. But yeah, that's I'll, what this is. And yeah, I sent a message to do something about that. Yeah. If, Sorry. What? If you want to assign it to me, go ahead. Um, feel free to do so. I'll um, try to dig into that. OK, hey, Lay. OK, yeah, I'll, I'll create an issue on that and um, assign it to you, Lay. Yeah, sounds good. OK. OK, cool. That'll be. <clears throat> So that that's probably this. That looks like the six hundred, and the hundred, the hundred. So this is also is this also on the dedicated performance cluster? Yeah, it's it's one hundred. It's only one time. So it it's create and delete, and then that's it, the other one. It's like uh, creates two hundred weights, creates four hundred weights, mm. creates, and then the deletion doesn't didn't have the time to delete. Okay. Or may, then maybe we can increase the interval between the tests. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I mean, I think. Well, once once we get, I think once we have that fixed, where we wait till the objects are removed, it should naturally increase the interval. I think that'll yeah. probably give us the cushion. And the need. other thing that I was thinking also is, you know, when I create the range, like uh, you know, four hundred. I don't know. I don't know if it's 400, 200 and 400 really makes sense. You know, I think 600, it's fine because I, I see more issues with 600, for example, when I see the, the Grafana dashboard. Anyway, what I want to mention is maybe it's better to have like uh, separate jobs for each number instead of have a job that creates 200, 400 and 600. We have different jobs, you know. Um, it, it will fix the issue <laughs> to delete. And, uh, but of course, we don't want to uh, you know, hide the issue. So just, but I'm just thinking that um, because if we put a, you know, a bigger interval, I don't know, can you open the Grafana dashboard? Let me send it here. Um, how do I get it? How do I get to it? Oh, one second. I forget. Me... Maybe I have a link for it around here. I have a link. One second. I'm sitting here in the Zoom. Where is the chat here? Yeah. Okay. I sent in the chat. Okay. Okay. So did you see these bumps here? Uh, the, the, we can see the VM count here. Maybe it's the easier one, the lower. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, you can see that the previous test, the 600 were failing. Now the 600 is working the, for the newest ones. But if you see that there was some test creates 100 and the other test that creates 200, 400, and 600 but they are very tight together, you see? So it's really hard to analyze like that. In the, we could have like a longer interval between the range. 
Yeah, I well, I think maybe well, maybe what you're getting at, Marcel, is that is that a, just one test doing just 600 in isolation is different than doing 200 scaling down, 400 scaling down, and 600. Scaling down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it, it's yeah. easier to visualize. You know, you can. Yeah. I'm just saying that if if it fails, we know exactly it's it's easier to know exactly which test instead of going in the logs and see which one failed, you know, just just like that. So and also maybe we don't need one two hundred. We have one hundred, maybe four hundred and six hundred, you know. Six hundred is the maximum. We cannot have more than that. We have like only three nodes. Um okay. And maybe for hundred, I don't know. We can check if may if it, I don't know if it makes if it's really really valuable to see four hundred because we have one hundred. This is important, and then six hundred like the we have a, a big range. And if we want to introduce more tests, it can be something else. Like for example, the steady state. You know, we can save time here. We cannot. We need to time share. We cannot run parallel tests. Otherwise, mm -hmm. they will impact each other. And we can decrease, you know, only for 600 and then, and then include another test. For example, the steady state, as we mentioned. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can tweak this a little bit. I think, um, yeah, maybe like, um, yeah, like a good, just a 600 in isolation would be interesting. Yeah. yeah, and then because just... we we still have like we still have more to do like we this is burst we still have steady state that we could do it would be I mean this is six hundred max very valuable like we've got a lot of information It'd be cool to see six hundred steady states and then we can configure the rate and there's there's like an infinite number of tests we can configure there with just the rate of deletions and recreation there's lots we can mm -hmm. do yeah okay. Yeah, I, but I like the idea though. Like, I like the conceptualize the, that these are two separate things, and they deal definitely to different results. So, yeah, maybe if we're getting a lot of results from six hundred, then maybe we just do a six hundred in isolation, and um, and we do uh, we maybe do some measurements off that. We do the measurements off one hundred, and then we can maybe we we get rid of this one for now, and we kind of yeah, at just, some point we could come back to it or update it so you can update yeah. and remove Just change over to 600 and yeah yeah exactly okay yeah makes sense okay yeah i mean at some point maybe we'll come back to it. i i mean i my guess is like with steady state will kind of take over this because like steady state is kind of like this and that like right we're just creating and deleting creating and deleting but um mm -hmm. instead of starting at but we'd start at like you know the higher value probably is what we do so, I mean, this is kind of like a steady state test, I guess. Yeah, it, it could be yeah. replaced, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good point, I think. Yeah, and uh, I think it's good to replace you know, somehow because, you know, to have uh, our, we can even like, you know, increase the 200, the 100. If we see that 100, it's not showing enough uh, data for us. And, and have the steady state. Um, and I wouldn't create too much test because otherwise, as you saw, like in the Grafana, it might, it start to be very hard, you know, to compare things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I think maybe what we'll do, I, I think this is good because a hundred of three nodes, right? Like, I don't know how I many people will have different densities like these are a good range because like, mm -hmm. I mean, I know for like us and NVIDIA, like we have our VM count is a lot, is limited by the number of GPUs. So we don't have incredible density. Whereas like, this is three nodes, that's incredible density. So, I mean, this is a good range. Like this is, I think it's pretty valuable. We'll get data from both and then getting the, um, uh, and then yeah, then the steady state. And then I think then steady state will have to play around a lot with you know, the right, the right, um, I mean, we kind of want to find a balance like this, something like this, where, I, but I think we sort of have two different axes here, like where we start from is one, like 100, 600, and then the rates that we do the delete and the recreate is the sort of the other axis. Mm -hmm. So I, we'll have to, we'll have to play with a little bit. I, I, my guess is we'll probably have more steady state tests. We'll probably, I'm, I'm guessing we'll settle in around four, but we'll do 100, 600, and then we'll do like a really quick, or like a lot of deletes at once, 
and then uh, one with a little more mild deletes at once. And we do measurements and then we do the same thing for 600 and, and then maybe eliminate based on what we, we don't find some of them valuable. Mm -hmm. so I, I think that's probably we'll, how we'll go with this. Okay, still still work to do that on the steady state test. That is, it's not fully complete, but we'll have to do one. Um, yeah, something we can we'll do in the future. Okay, <clears throat> makes sense. And this uh, and this Grafana is this something like is, is this if I um, is this like this is publicly accessible, right? Like if I go last yeah. Six hours. Okay, let me oh, make six, a um, six hours because no test run in six hours, but put like twelve. Maybe you see the lastest. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, what yeah. I was gonna do, I wanted to make a note just so I keep track of it. Yeah. yeah, I think it it should be very important, like that you every week to have a look on that and yeah, see if that's... you see some regression or something like uh, the yep. VM, the VM, the latency, the API request latency, the number of requests, because we have here, you know, the, you know, requests per second, for example, for for the different. Um, no components and uh, the you know you know see the request duration oh you, you can see the one metric that is interesting if you go down yeah oh uh, up a little Far. bit now yeah, yeah okay. just the rate limit duration if you can click in the bridge controller yeah so you can see that there was, it was happening like a lot of virtual controller rate limiting. Uh, oh, it actually, it doesn't have any more. So you, because it's two days, if you can increase the range again for one week, I don't know. Yeah, maybe too many data. <laughs> Anyway, so the, the, yeah, the PR, you see the PR was merged and it was having a lot of rate oh, limit. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, in the virtual controller and now yeah. it doesn't have any more. So it's, I think we can, we can say that it's a, it's a big performance improvement that we, we got, you know, um, from, from our, from our work. Yeah, no, that's, that's really good to see. So did you, um, I think there were some bugs that you had associated with, I think like the work queue, uh, this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, oh, good. You closed it. Okay. Let me. I didn't, done I, it wasn't me, but <laughs> it's closed because of time, you know, open time. Completed, at, or maybe did I mark it closed? Oh, no. It was completed by the okay. No, no the bot. I closed that. Then. Yeah. You because I, I thought you referenced it somewhere. Yeah, I referenced this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was it was you know fixed by increasing the rate limit. Yeah. Yep, it definitely was. Okay, that's cool. And then yeah, we got oh, and then <clears throat> that was one of the thing we wanted. We talked about last time. I just remembered. Um, we uh, you mentioned. Did, did Andrew, I, I don't know if we have Andrew here, but did, did you get to speak with him about um, about the vert controller node work queue? Mm. Let me see if there are any updates on this issue. Mm, I, no, I didn't no. send a message to him. Yeah. Okay. I, I will, I forgot to do that. But I, I don't know, I don't know if he's going to work on that anymore, so. Okay. Okay. It, it's it's still an open issue, so. I think this is, you know, this, uh, this ad rate. Anyway, if we see that this is something that's normal and it's something that, you know, we cannot improve, we just need to be aware, aware about that. But it seems to me something weird because it's scaling with the number of great VMs. And, um, and, uh, you know, to requeue a key too many like that it doesn't it, compared to i don't know if it's too many but compared to the other controllers it seems to be very high isn't it so it's definitely something that we need to keep an eye on that okay 
Um, I'm not sure if we want to spend some time digging into it, but if we do, then um, I, I would be interested in taking a look. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think, well, Alay, <clears throat> we'll have, um, yeah, if you've got some time, Alay, maybe we'll, so. Um, oh, and oh, it's not, not Andrew, it's another one. Alay, we'll have it, so you can do, how we take, um, we'll, we'll do this, uh, what, let's, let's fix the performance job first just so we get that one out of the way um so how we look into that one first and then we'll next meeting let's um i'll book some time i guess i, I need to do some research on this one myself maybe we can all do some research and we can um we can uh, have this as a discussion topic for next meeting and see what we find and and then um we can update the card that's yeah. sound okay all right. Um, yeah, I just I wanted to have it here just so we so I remember to come back to this. Okay. So yeah, this one's definitely interesting. We'll have to. Um, so anyway, like like I said, we'll follow up on this one. We'll do some investigation. We'll come back to it. Okay. Um, let me see. I just gotta make sure. So from last time, Marcella, did you get a chance to do any tracing, uh, or did you get uh, any of the tracing results? Do you have it available? So I got it, and uh, I included, you know. This you know these things on the code that the the other trace and plus other other ones. However, um, I was looking to the trace and I still only see the sync and the update. Okay. And in a way that I'm doubt you know I don't know if the <laughs> about the results. So it's not showing any other you know tracing points. And then I was thinking. Maybe I run the wrong kubevert, or uh, or it's it's fine. So it's it the other trace points was not low, uh, higher than one second, and then that's why it not was not appearing the log. So um, I'm sure that I, I I deployed it in the right way, but uh, I, I'm in doubt because I didn't see any other trace points. So it's just the sync, and again, this is with the very old the old cars per second when it was very low. With the newer cars per second, the the trace points doesn't appear anymore. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So I guess then I wonder if um, maybe what's happening is that each of these individual ones are less than a second and they're just adding up. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think I, I don't have the cluster anymore and it would be hard to do that again, but it could be a way to do that. It's remove the one second or, or lower that for 100 milliseconds, for example, and then everything would appear. And then we can could see like exactly, you know, the time in the each, each point that we put the trace. But... Yeah, okay. All right, I mean, this might be another one we can do in other experiments. We get it's more time. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe this is one at some point we can. Sorry, go ahead. Hi guys, can can I also ask some questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, I was away from these discussions here, unfortunately. Uh, uh, since Nvidia already released them uh, source code of them drivers. Uh, me and my team, we are trying to uh, start to develop uh, uh, GPU live migration for KubeVert. Uh, I send a link on the chat window for you to understand what's, what's the, the announce from NVIDIA. Uh, what is the correct forum to talk about? Uh, uh, what have been done already regarding live migration uh, for we understanding what have been done so far and uh, discuss who have done that work, uh, how to implement the GPU live migration also, since we have already the, uh, the uh, open source drivers of, of NVIDIA. Probably uh, the the Wednesday meeting for the 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 Qvert or or the mailing list 
would be yeah i was yesterday talking to the guys and they asked to to be here to to talk to you guys also who who i can talk to to start this process and have a, the correct path on the beginning oh um wait so the yesterday's meeting they sent they sent us to this they sent to this meeting yeah. okay <laughs> um who, who did you talk which channel did you talk The community meeting on uh, on Wednesdays. Uh -huh. Yeah, so there is also ice lock because you know um, this is regarding a feature, isn't it? So I I, I didn't play with live migration for GPUs. Uh -huh. um, uh, not aware yes, about I, that. I don't I know. Who, I don't know who implemented that. Also, who implement live migration inside Kubevit at all? <laughs> you understand? Even yeah, I know those guys. Who, who are the guys have done that? That's my question. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it I think maybe was Vladek or David. I, I, maybe Roman. I think maybe, and the, or maybe the storage guys that implement live migration. Anyway, so there is a channel in the slot that's called Kubevirt Dev, and those guys are in this channel. So if you ask, they will reply. Uh... You know. Word dev. Yeah. Uh, yes, I asked them al already. Nobody answered. <laughs> well, now let's wait then. <laughs> Sometime. If okay. the thing gets get lost there, maybe just rephrase and send again. You know, and simplify. Mm -hmm. Just say I'm having issue with live GPU live migration. Who's in charge of that? Can you help? You know, yeah, and because maybe sometimes when the message is too big, I don't know if you did that, but people get lazy to read, you know, <laughs> just go <Yeah>. straight. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, thank you so much, guys. Sure, uh, is there uh, I was away also, is there a, a, a that date for release version 1.0? There's uh I, I don't think there's been a publicly stated uh, target at this point. It's I mean all, all I can all I know is that it's it's we've had a lot of discussions about it, um, and I th it's moving along. Like I think I would say it's a lot closer than it was, you know, a few months ago. I think it's it's definitely something that's been focused um, by a lot of people, but um, yeah, I mean there isn't really a there isn't a hard date. I mean there's like. I think there's a document floating around somewhere with like the um, with the remaining items. I think the last, from what I recall, the last remaining item was uh, a policy for how we handle decrement decre decrementing APIs. You know, any sort of like alpha APIs or things like that. Um, that's that's already being worked on. There's already a document for it somewhere. It's I think it's in the community repo. Um, and mm -hmm. I think after that merges, I think that was the last item to, to then say that uh, we have everything for V1. So it's coming up, but there isn't, there isn't a date that I know of that is, you know, say when it's going to be, but, um, I, I expect there'll be some more info soon. because I mean, I, I can tell you that at least, you know, from my perspective, I'm definitely very interested as well. Like, this is something, you know, we also want to, we also want to get to. So it, it should be soon. I mean, it's just, I can't, I don't know, can't say when yet there hasn't been a release date. The feeling is that that, that is this year, <laughs> correct? Yeah, my feeling is is this year. My feeling is, is I, I feel, I think just based on conversations and what's remaining, I, I feel confident in, yeah, that, that saying this year will be one. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you guys. Welcome. Okay. All right. Um, let me go back to let's see. Look back at what we had from last meeting. So um, so that's good, Marcel. That's awesome to see that this uh, how much that that impacted the the work here. That's really good. Did you uh, did you ever rerun the? Have you rerun the test recently? Or um, you actually know you did right? You ran it. Yeah, here you go. You ran it after. You already saw the you recorded the performance improvement, so that's really good. At some point, I, I still want to do that that test where we can like, because like 
you have here like a really good measurement of like how much of an improvement that you've made but we have like we still don't have anything to measure against so that we can publish you know our, our data still something that bothers me i wish we had you know like this patch did had this much of an effect on performance or something you know what i mean well the P the, the the pr that closed the work he was doing that can you open this The one that, yeah, I don't know. The, it's not. This one? Oh, wait, this is open. Wait. Oh, sorry. This is not this one. Um, this one. Exactly. This one. So, this is what's just showing what the, is the improvement. So, it's like, uh, what's six two times? improve you know the improvement in the in the latency to create yeah. 1000 vms something like that you know yeah but i because what i mean what, what i sorry Andrew, what i mean is like um this like this is really good but like with your scenario you were able to in induce this problem like we need i guess maybe that's what i'm saying is like we need specific scenarios that like we can measure against say like we tested thousand vms in 12 no cluster and this PR did this improvement, um, but we don't have that standard to like measure across releases to say, okay, here's what it was 0 0.5, 0 0.42, 0 0.50, 0 0.53, and you can see the improvement. Like we don't, mm -hmm. we don't quite have that measurement just because. Well, I mean, it's it's difficult to. Maybe it's something we'll have to do. We can work on it in the performance clusters. Like we can. Yeah. You know, as we can use to like get to get the standardization or something because I think like. I mean, it really just because this is um, because I mean, this is great work and, and just needs to be highlighted like in the, at the even at the release level, like there is a massive improvement here. Yeah. Anyway, something I, I think something we just need to fix, continue to improve on with CI so that we can continue to build it out so that we can get to this and, and then measure continuously and then get it to the, the release level, like elevate these PRs to the release level. Yeah, I, I would like to ask you something here. We are doing also some tests, but a uh, much higher volume, ten thousand VMs across one thousand two hundred and fifty nodes cluster. For you understand, mm -hmm. what kind of testing are you doing today? Because we are testing other way, <laughs> other than you are using today. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. Is that like your 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 environment is different and so your performance is going to vary but what we're saying is like so marcelo's got this pr here that that greatly improves performance on a 12 node cluster when you create high amounts of density which is you know thousand vms it, it eventually basically shows here like it, the the vmi creation latency just is very high with uh, with that before this change and then with it it gets it gets uh, much faster. So I don't know if you're seeing this on your clusters. It's it's hard to say, but um, I mean, at least for you know a cluster that that gets this much density, uh, we should see an improvement. So um, I mean, you yours might be yours might be a little bit less. So it's it's hard to say, but yeah, the test is different. Is really what the point is. We are reaching less less than than this for you understand uh we are reaching something around milliseconds let were me you, tell you why you creating vm or vmi uh, which, which object are you creating vms vms okay and the vm automatically starts the vmi yes okay i'm just asking because this is a configurable parameter so just yeah. to, you know. <laughs> uh because uh these vms change the size over time and with that we also change the number of of uh nodes in the cluster across uh because this same cluster can reach for 10,000 users uh, reach 157 nodes between 157 nodes and 1250 nodes for the same 10,000 users because all the vms are different 
like two virtual CPUs, four gigabytes of RAM, and another one has four virtual CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM and things like that. Mm -hmm. For you understand, these are dynamically created over on the fly over our over the API of Kubevert, for you know. But we don't have a single cluster. We are doing uh, ten clusters across several regions. Also, there are some clusters in Brazil, clusters in the US, clusters in Europe, clusters in A Asia. And also we are doing everything uh, to be, let's say, scalable uh, all over the world, only for which our solution works. But uh, your numbers seems to be worse than we are getting. <laughs> That's why I, I'm asking you why. Uh, also, the PVC behind the scenes, we are using a faster storage. Uh, for you understand how we are achieving the best performance possible, we use something called RAM disk. Let me grab you that. In every server, uh, shit, shit, uh, shit window. In every server, we have 600 gigabytes of RAM. We, we grab six, uh, 300 uh, gigabytes of RAM to have a, a RAM disk. And we expose all these 300 gigabytes of RAM of, of every node as an cluster file system to the VMs. And that's why we are reaching 1 million times, sometimes faster than and VNA's storage. And that's mm -hmm. why we are getting better numbers behind the scenes, how we are making happen, everything happen for you understand. We was working before with Rook with, and Seth, but Rook and Seth, the, the duplication part of it is on alpha stage. And then we roll back to Gluster uh, for you know, how we are exposing these RAM disks to the VMs and why we are getting better numbers than yours for you understand, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, my question here is, okay, so you mentioned that you have like many clusters, different regions, mm -hmm. and, and also you mentioned about like 10,000 users, but probably they are not creating 10,000 at the same time, isn't it? So yes, at the same time, because they we have like at 7 a.m. everybody arrives at the office and everybody ah, wants okay. to request at the same time. <laughs> you understand? Uh -huh. So and we what's... have like a, 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 a like a waterfall of logins. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And what's it what's the number of uh, you know parallel VMs VMs creation per cluster? We create uh, more than 10,000. We have uh, like oh, three it? clusters. We have in each cluster 10,000 users and we are we have 100,000 concurrent users logging in at the, the 7 a.m. for you understand. These are like uh, spread all over the clusters we have. Every cluster handle 10,000 users only, okay? And we Did have you... more than 100,000 concurrent users. Did you change the configuration of the virtual virtu controller? For example, this 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 configuration that I changed, the carries per second and burst? No, nothing. <laughs> we just run out of the box for you understand. But mm -hmm. behind the scenes, we have better storage, let's say. Right. That's why it's faster. Well, there's okay. also, you said there's, so I think what I heard was uh, 10,000 users per cluster, and then I think 1,000 nodes, is that what it is? Per cluster? Yes, in the single cluster, we go from three nodes to 1,250 nodes on this single cluster. Okay. So roughly the math is like, it's like 10 VMs per node. It's right about uh, up to Up to 64, that's the maximum we 64. are using per node. Okay, and then Marcel, your density here is 
Um, it's 100 per node. 100. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this might be some difference. And, uh, but especially the hardware probably changed a lot. So, uh, yes. If you have, you know, verb, just, just, just nodes are so very powerful, but maybe the one that you have, it's even more, even, even better CPU, things like that. So it will impact. How many, how many API servers do you have? How many Kubernetes API servers do you have? Per cluster. Uh, was catching your your speech? Can you tell uh, say again? Oh, how, how many Kubernetes API servers do you have per cluster? The three. Uh, I don't know exactly, but is at least five. Yeah, this also might impact a lot the experiment. Yeah, I'm I'm using the you know. The, the, uh, the, I think it's three by default. Eh? I don't remember now, but three, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We there, there's the number of of APIs servers for sure. Mm -hmm. And did you did you notice like a performance change when you did that? Is that why you did it? Yes, yes, okay. because we have the waterfall uh, broke <laughs> at one of the days on the beginning, and uh, now we are let's say smooth <laughs> logins okay mm -hmm. yeah that, that's that's very interesting you know how actually the kubernetes control plane impacts the kubevirt control plane and uh this, this is a test that i didn't have the time to do and this is interesting you know to increase the yeah, yeah. marcelo i send you an email in your at ibm uh, email if we can talk later on over WhatsApp or something. I appreciate that. Okay, Marcelo. Okay. Did you receive my email? Yeah, I got it. Great. Then we can discuss and share some thoughts at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but for you know, uh, we are building infrastructure for 1 million concurrent users to be uh, in production and on the second semester, for you understand, this is gonna be like <laughs> hundreds of clusters. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is huge. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yes. Yeah, that's really cool. And for you know, everything based on convert. <laughs> And uh, are you, do you have any plan to, you know, maybe show some metrics from the cluster? I don't know if you, if you That's want to. That's why I'm talking to you. <laughs> Help me to, to, to push the information out because we are using and we are doing only for ourselves right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it might be interesting, you know, if maybe if you write like a blog post, if, you know, you, you get a lot of attention for that, you know. No one is using this for this size. No, this, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. For you understand, we we have half million GPUs. Wow. Okay, right. on on the project. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it's very it's very big. Yeah. It yeah. might be interesting, the bottlenecks. If you are seeing any bottleneck, you know. Many. <laughs> That's why mm -hmm. I'm trying to, to put the pieces together and make it happen. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, do you see cool. at all the, um, do you see any PVC? So you said you, said you have high performance PVCs, um, but the, do you see any latency when actually creating them, like with Kubernetes actually goes in and and creates them and deletes them. Do you like see any issues at all with that? Because I don't think that has anything to do with like the- On the creation? The RAM disk. On the creation, no. On the delete, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is something we've at least observed. There's a, there's a PVC protection controller in Kubernetes that builds up quite a work queue on deletion and it's we've at least from some uh, some of our testing that we have this is one thing we run into a lot is the work queue grows very large 
and it can cause latency issues during creation, VMI creation, just because we're deleting the, the PVCs in this controller is, is using a lot of the API services uh, resources. So it sounds like yeah. it's something similar to what you what you're observing. Yeah. Okay. But the deletion is not blocking my my service. Let me explain you why. We are a mm -hmm. non-persistent VGI. What this means when the users log off, we just kill the machine. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's similar use case to what actually yeah what we do too. Like, but because the point is right, you delete the PVCs after each VMI is 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 finished. Yeah. Right. So you get right. So you have a lot of delete requests, which is what leads you to this, yeah. the cleanup, yeah. being very <laughs> slow. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Very similar problems to what what we've been dealing with internally. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, can I ask you what kind of CPU are you using Intel AMD? ARM? Um, AMD's. Yeah, I would like to have it. <laughs> we are using Intel. <laughs> I think, oh, hold on. I, maybe it's, I think it's AMD's. I, I forget, but I think that's what it is. I'll just double check. Great, I know great. It's not, I know it's not ARM, yeah, we're not using ARM, but maybe some, at some point. I know ARM is still being worked on in Qvert, so. Yeah, our goal is to move everything to ARM for you know, okay, including yeah. Windows. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Well, anyway, the the um this this exercise though is kind of um I mean it's it's interesting like like I was saying the this scenario like you you definitely hit a pressure point here, Marcelo, with this with the density. Maybe it's just because you went over like like um. Maybe you went over 80 or 90 or something, and that's just based on the configuration of your cluster with three API servers or something like that. It's when we run into this kind of latency. Might be something like that, but it's still it's just, it's it's beside the point because it's it's a valid use case. So it, it's something we need to address. And you're totally right that the, the QPS should be higher, like just based on what your analysis was. So it makes sense, but it's interesting how it affects people differently. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are you working on the actually code of convert or not? Yeah, I, I was doing that. Um, but, uh, okay. you know, yeah, um, I'm changing the project night right now. I talked to Ryan, so I'm going to, you know, I'm smoothly going to, um, you know, uh, leave the convert, you know, the Kubrick project, unfortunately. <laughs> but we, yeah. we were we we're improving the code and uh, trying to, you know, Brian also put some traces in the code and create also a, a sequence diagram, you know, to understand all the workflow that the VMI goes, at least for some part of it, it has more things uh, that we were discussing before, but, uh, it's the, the I think the whole goal here is to understand bottlenecks and then try to you know to identify that in the code and improve the code. Yes. Yeah, we like Marcel said, we my do, goal we do... was to do more than the number of, of VMs per 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 node that can help a lot. Well then, uh, that's exactly right up what Marcel has been testing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because the limit of 120—that's I think is the the limit—is uh, too high at least on my mind. Yeah. Well, sorry, what limit? Number of VMs. Number per of VMs per uh, the the Kubernetes number of of of. Uh, Pods per 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 VM uh, on Kubernetes. No, you it's can like you can increase that. You can increase that for OpenShift by default. Already increased that for four hundred five hundred, I think. And mm -hmm. I did that. I did some tests. For example, in hours, I did some tests that I was creating four hundred VMs in a node. 
So we changed something in the Kubert code to do that also. Um, but you, you can you can increase that. But for like I was for, not aware of that. <laughs> nice to know, Marcelo. Yeah, it's um, I think officially uh, OpenShift. Not not a uh, Officially, Kubvert says that we can support 250 in a safe way per node. Okay. Of course, depends on the because when it's the problem to have like too many pods per node, it starts to overload Kubelet. Okay. So um, and uh, it it's things you know the, the the container runtime start to be overloaded and things get nasty. But 250, it's, it's okay. As I mentioned to you, I could run 400 very tiny VMs, okay? Um, and uh, without big problems. More than 400, it start to be like a, too many. And um, and uh, if, you, if you aim to go to 200, it should be fine. We are actually creating 200 now in our, uh, you know, uh, performance test yeah. now in the CI. My issue there is that every VM has the GPU slice, and that's why the maximum number of GPUs inside a single server and things like that. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, but then that's yeah. my limit. Is not <laughs> uh, was hardware. Was, yeah. was the limit not 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 uh, the amount of VMs without GPUs because we don't offer VMs without GPUs. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna ask you because like with your GPU workload, do you run into any issues like with when the way you slice when you way you slice your GPUs? Do you run into issues on the, any of the smaller like a smaller um, configurations like an eight to one, four to one, or something? Do you run that small, and do you do you run into any issues like with performance? Um, I don't know. Do you see no, pinning? Like, what do you do? sliced by vGPU of, of, of NVIDIA and we pass through to the VM and that then works perfectly regarding the user perspective at least. Okay. Okay, so I don't understand. So you you always you always pass through the physical GPU then to every, yeah. every customer? We oh, slice okay. uh, uh, 16 gigabytes in uh, 16 of one gig, eight of two gigs, four of four gigs or four of eight gigs. <laughs> it's simple as that. <laughs> okay. So is it, is this every like server has then? four, 44 with 16 gigabytes uh, GPU each. But do you, so I, I guess what I'm hearing is like, so you have the, um, so like on your node, you, you have, um, what appears to be one physical GPU, which then you pass to a, you pass through to one customer's VM, because you said it, you said you do slice, but it gets passed through as a physical GPU. Yes, it's, it's like a, a technology from the NVIDIA called it vGPU, virtual GPU. Yeah, yeah. I well, I know, I know, it, I know it is, but I mean, like, it, it's the, but you're not. Um, Okay, so you're 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 slicing you're slicing them up into an eighth, and you're um, and you're you're using like VFIO or something to yeah or, uh, okay right. Uh, let me give you here a uh, cool. Uh, weird. We are using this here. So in the case of you have like the eight to one, the VGPU or something, um, if you, on the eight to one VGPU, are you at all? We reaching uh, 16 to one. <laughs> 16, okay, and the 16 to one GPUs, are you at all having any performance issues with like the, no, like the only the... Issue to control is the temperature of the GPU. So then each, so then each time, so then I guess how, how do you allocate the CPUs and uh, for each of them? If you're, so do you give like each, um, so you give one, a one sixteenth GPU and do you allocate a, a whole CPU uh, to each? 
is one, two, four, I think. One core every four VMs, something like that. Okay. So you, so you don't do anything with pinning or, um, or any memory bandwidth allocations? No, we don't do, <laughs> or let's say overbooking. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, I was just curious. Be cool. We, we should plan take, to um, do that. We plan to do that. But yeah, I mean, so the reason I was they, asking was because we Kubernetes, Kubernetes doesn't exactly support it right now for what this essentially I'm talking about. So I was wondering if you had a solution that was, and neither does Qvert because Kubernetes doesn't support it. So I was wondering if you had some other solution that you that you could publish because that's something that, that's, that is something that's interesting to like. I mean, there's a lot of I mean, there's a lot of things in that area that would be interesting to see in the community. Yeah. What okay. we are working on also, but this is a uh, one or two years work we plan to, 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 to have finished is the video I sent you here is to finalize the para virtualization uh, vir virtual 3G have done for, for Linux. We plan to have also for uh, uh, Windows and Mac also. Mm -hmm. For you know, this is plan. We what we planning to do internally, but cool. this is cool. a couple of million dollars later <laughs> to finish. Yeah, well, that's that's cool. I mean, you should um, at some point it'd be cool to share your some of your um, the phase transition times. It'd be cool to see like how you guys perform with those transition times to. Uh, in your cluster, if you maybe you have some optimizations that we can, we might be able to publish so that others can can copy it. So it it would be cool yeah. to see at some point. Yeah, that's the okay. goal. Great. Okay. Well. Um, all right. Well, thanks for sharing. So, any more uh, any more topics from people? I think we covered quite a, quite a few things. I think there's yeah, nothing else. For sure. Yeah, I think there's anything else we want to make left. So I'm fine. Yeah. If you have any any further uh, scalability issues, that's why I plan to to be here always to share what we are already reaching. We are doing a stress test for hundred thousand concurrent users across multiple clusters across multiple regions behind the scenes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we have some work. Like Marcel's done a lot of work on the load generator and. We have the burst test. Eventually, we want to get to doing steady state, and which is probably more in line of what your use case is. And so it'd be interesting. I mean, we we we're obviously don't have as many as much hardware as you do, but maybe we can try and simulate some of the pressure at a lower scale. Mm -hmm. See what we can mm -hmm. find. So yeah, yeah, great. Cool. And uh, and again, so some of the bottlenecks that you see. And uh, if we, if it's possible, open an issue in Kubevert, you know, and describing a little bit the bottleneck, so so we can, we can work on that, you know, discuss that also there. Okay. You know. Great, we, great. Yeah. We are reaching yeah. there. <laughs> That's why I, I'm preparing to 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 be co more community active with you because. We was planning, we was installing everything. It's not so simple to automate everything here. Right. And that this took time to, to be, there is no touch of a server. We, everything is completely automated to deploy the services, servers, everything is completely automated here. And mm -hmm. this took some more time that I was expecting. Like it's hours. already work, <laughs> I'm working since, 2016 on the project for you understand, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Several it years, time. right? <laughs> a lot <laughs> of time, yeah. What we are... <laughs> okay. And uh, oh. when you join the meeting, uh, if you if you it's okay for you, put your name here in the meetings uh, notes. It's I think it's. Good I'm trying because... to find this PDF, uh, the, the 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 Google Docs. 
Where is it for I uh, understand? Normally, Ryan always put it in the chat. In the chat, yeah, it's always I don't know the first can... comment here. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I I enter late. That's why. Oh, it disappears when you enter. I see. No, when I enter late, uh, it doesn't uh, show what have uh, sent before. I see. I I just don't know that. So I think Ryan put here again. It's in the if you have the the calendar, you know, in the in the in the Google Calendar, the invitation there. You there is also the link for that. Oh, you got it now. But uh, it's just just because it's kind of you know um, put the attention how many people are attending the you know this meeting and more people it's better so it brings more attention to yeah. the performance yeah okay yeah cool all right well uh, thanks andre then hr uh where are you working on are you, are you from ibm also it's uh, brian's from nvidia sorry yeah i'm from nvidia oh, oh wonderful <laughs> nice to know <laughs> If I can yeah. uh, have, have your email, I borrow some time from you on the email also, okay? Yeah, yeah. it's just, uh, it's this at nvidia.com. It's my, my nick here at okay. nvidia.com. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I reason Andre, like I was so interested in a lot of what you're doing is because it's, it's, it's actually a lot of similar to what we're doing in NVIDIA. So it's, we have, we have almost identical use cases in, in the infrastructure side, not but not in user side, not exactly in user side, but it's very similar infra side, you know. So it's that's cool, like um, the, your scale and everything. So yeah, definitely share the problems that you're seeing. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I bet you there we were probably running into the same things. <laughs> this is a very good chance. For sure. <laughs> good. Okay. All right, guys. I think we're a few minutes over, so I will call it here. Thanks for your time. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Okay, nice, bye.